Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying on a size 6 jeans at 6 different stores. So this video is very, very much inspired by Sierra Schultz's video where she's trying on size 12 at 12 different stores. Um, I loved it. I still watch that video even though it was posted like a year ago, I think. Um, so I'll have her video linked below, but it's amazing. I loved it. And I kind of wanted to put my own spin on it. I had a baby three months ago and I have been wearing jeans, but the only pair of jeans that I have that fit me have crazy amounts of holes on the inside of the thighs. Like I've worn them for almost two years and they are done. Like they are ready to be retired. So I've been on the hunt for some new jeans and I thought today was the perfect day to come and show you guys what a size six looks like at six different stores because I know that they're like uncomfortable and fit me very tight um, where other stores a size six is really baggy in like the crotch and in the butt and just doesn't look good so I wanted to take you guys with me to find like the perfect pair of mom jeans obviously I want like skinny jeans that fit me I'm not looking for the mom jean fit but I am a mom and I'm looking for jeans that work for me and aren't like too young so I'm gonna take you guys to find the perfect pair of jeans with me we're gonna try them on in six different stores and see how a size six looks differently because as far as my knowledge a size 6 is a 28 waist um, which I actually have a pair of jeans that's a size 8 and is a 28 waist so we're gonna see I'm so excited to try them on I have my mom here she's meeting me at the mall because obviously I have Oakland with me and we're just gonna go around the whole mall I'm also vlogging today so that's like the video before this so you guys will have seen that but let's just go try on a ton of pairs of jeans <laughs> Hollister actually does 013579, so I went with the waist size 28, length 26, and a high rise skinny jegging. So they were pretty hard to get on, and they are skin tight everywhere so on the hips on the waist on the butt on the thighs on the calves on the ankle they are tight everywhere they weren't too tight like they were still comfortable and wearable but they were pretty thin they were kind of baggy at the crotch which i thought was kind of weird but they didn't look great Next we're going into Express. I feel like this is kind of where my life is gearing me towards. This is maybe a little bit older style. Um, so I found what they classified as a dark wash jeggy. And this one had some distressing around the ankle which probably changed the fit a little bit but it was an ankle legging mid rise in a 6 regular. They fit like a normal jean, like more jean material than jegging but they had really weird pockets that like went inwards towards your belly button rather than like straight down and it had a pretty loose fit on the thighs but the waist fit just right so they would be a contender but they were $88 and were not a perfect fit so they got knocked out of the running number three is Aeropostale or Aeropostale however you pronounce it and I was really excited about these jeans. They had a just great high-waisted jegging in a six regular, but once I got them on, which was hard on its own as you can see, they were literally skin tight everywhere. I wanna throw in a clip. Okay, these are literally, you probably can't hear me, but these are so tight. Oh my gosh, you can literally see my belly buttons folded in half. So I definitely have some mom flab left and my belly button was folded over but they make your butt look so good. If I squat I think I would rip them but they looked really good in the butt but didn't fit anywhere else. Everything was so tight and they were the thinnest material out of all the jeans that I tried on. They weren't super soft, they were just very stretchy and thin.
Number four is the buckle, and I really didn't know what brand I wanted to try on, so I just went with Buckle's own brand. And this store is like impossible to find things without nine people talking to you and like giving you eight different styles of jeans. So I found the first one that was my size, and this one was a low rise slim fit skinny in the 28 waist. That's really what got me in trouble was that it's not a jegging and the rise was just a little too low. It looked great on my waist and felt good, but it was just baggy and like you just can tell that they don't fit. The legs were too long. Everything was bunching in places that it shouldn't and they just didn't look good. Plus the crotch was really baggy too. Now to American Eagle, the homeland of jeans. That's what these ones are. And these are my best fitting ones, but they don't make the style anymore. So we're gonna have to find something similar. Okay, this is literally the closest thing they have to the jeans that I'm wearing right now. Super stretch high rise jegging midnight dreamer in a six short. I have to have short here or else like all bets are off. So I'm so excited. These jeans were a perfect fit other than they were high rise versus like their mid rise. The mid rise is what I had currently. Um, high rise just doesn't look great on me, but these jeans fit like a glove. The legs fit perfectly everywhere, thighs, calves, ankles, hips, everything. They're super comfortable and they wear great for a long time. Um, they just didn't end up having the right rise. They just weren't perfect, but if I can find a lower rise, these are my go-to jeans. So we're trying on Can Can brand. This is a brand you can find at a lot of boutique stores. So I went with the light distressed skinny jean in obviously the 28 waist and these surprised me but not in a good way. So once I got them on, I thought they looked so cute from like my knees up. The waist was perfect. My hips, because I have birthing hips now that I'm a mom, looked great. Like I thought they just looked so cute. Okay, this is, waist is great, my hips are great, but it's just not a skinny enough fit. I don't know if they make skinnier jeans or like jegging styles, and if they do, I'm definitely gonna get some because I loved the hip, the butt, the waist, but from my knees down, they just didn't look right. Okay, so my final wrap up of all of those jeans was some of them, most of them were jegging. Some of them were long. Some of them were short. Some of them didn't offer a long or regular or short style in leg length. Um, but all of them wore a size 28 waist, whether that be a 6 or a 7. Some of them fit great. Some of them did not fit at all. Some of them were super baggy. Some of them were super tight. Everything was different, which I think was a really good lesson for me to learn because I get so discouraged when I go jean shopping. I get hot, I get bothered, I get annoyed when I'm in the dressing rooms. Nothing's fitting, everything looks different than what my previous jeans were. And I think that was a really good lesson for me to learn was to go with the mindset of I'm just trying on six different pairs of jeans at six different stores. If I happen to find one that I like, then great. I really liked the ones at American Eagle. However, it was a higher rise than what I was used to. The ones that I have on um, were like a regular rise, not low per se, but definitely not super high rise. Um, and I personally don't like high-waisted jeans on my body. I definitely have like a little pouch, <laughs> a little mommy kangaroo pouch. And I think high-rise jeans look good to a certain extent, except for then that little part comes out where it's like softer material. So I would have gotten them if they had a lower rise. They have that exact same style in a medium, like regular rise. They did not have a six short, so I didn't get them, I'll keep looking. I loved the Can Can brand ones. However, the leg, like around my calf, um, did not fit tight and was a little too long and they didn't offer, at least in that store, they didn't offer any like alteration of it. Like they didn't offer a short style or extra skinny or anything like that. The Hollister jeans were great. They were $29. They fit 
really nicely but they felt so thin and they had no real pockets and it just felt like very thin material um, and everything else was just kind of blah that was a really good experience for me um, and I knew I needed to go jean shopping so I thought it would be a fun video to do and I'm really happy I did I don't know how it's gonna get edited because I don't want to get copyrighted for the background music in the dressing rooms but I want you to hear my authentic thoughts so I'm not sure how that'll go I'll try my best but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and ooh, someone is too and so I need to feed her anyways I love you guys I'll see you in my next video bye